we are going to explore two hands-on concepts here. One is called relational database. The other one is NoSQL database called DynamoDB. Apart from the other database, we don't do hands-on, only theoretical understanding. As part of relational database system, you have two options, standard create, easy create. Easy means no need of customizing anything. Just fill few information and click on create database, it will be created. Under standard, you have to go some more extra steps. First, I'll go with the standard create. Here, you need to select your vendor, whom, whom you want, which database. I'll go with the MySQL. It's a community edition. And it is asking, can I go with multi availability zone? Means primary and secondary. If you want, you can click on this. If not, you can ignore. Here we have engines. If you go to MySQL, there are many versions are there. So latest version is 8.0.35. You can go with the back old old versions. Who will tell all this information? Application architect will give in this information to solution architect. Solution architect will give this information to DevOps engineer. Here in the other architecture diagram, our solution architect will tell us is it under which category? Dev and test or production. In our case, free tire. See, the moment I selected free tire, some of the things will be grayed out. If you look at here, see, some of the things are grayed out. Why? Under free tire, you don't need multi availability zone cluster. Under free tire, availability and durability, no need to select. Settings, DV identifier, how to identify your database, cloud, binary, B11, like this. This is your database ID name. Here, to log into this database, we need username. To log into this database, we need password. You can type the password or it will generate automatically. Like during IAM, you have this option. So you can set your own desired password. You can go with according to the suggestion. Next, instance type. Since we selected free tire, uh, free tire, so you just have whatever is free tire is available that is only highlighted here. Apart from that, other is grayed out. Go with the db.d3.micro. Next, storage type. Like while you're launching EC2 instance, you also have similar solutions. Here we are going with the GP2, general purpose. Minimum storage is 20 GP. Based on your application logic and everything, you keep on adding, increase. It's auto scaling, right? So whenever you need it, you come here, you increase the size, restart the machine. That's it. Like the way we increase the aspect of EC2 instance volume, same goes here. But minimum is 20 GB, maximum is 6144 GB. 